I imagine you felt pretty good about that. Yeah, I did feel good about it. Um, man, we just fought like crazy, man. You know, that's just kind of what we do. Um, I'm big on like, you know, we either win or lose on our terms. You know, we just fight to the end, you know, and we try to play the right way. Whether you win or lose the game, you live with the results. And today was one of those games. I mean, I thought we we played the way we wanted to play, you know, um, and we made them earn it. You know, we made them earn it, and we were we were right there, right there. What do you think of how Rayon played? I can't hear. I'm sorry. Oh, Roops. Um, I thought he played good. He had a big, you know, a big assist at the end. Obviously, a career high in assist for him and two. Um, but I thought Roos played well um, in the game. You know, I thought early on just trying to adjust to the physicality that KCP was playing versus him. He just kind of just took the ball from him one time, and I thought he needed that to happen just to see how hard those guys are going to play. Um, but I thought he played a pretty good game. How do you, you those... often talk about the importance of playing with veterans. Like, is there is there anything to be gained from just playing with rookies? Like, is there something that those guys get that they wouldn't necessarily get if they were playing with vets? Uh, opportunity, you know, more opportunity. I mean, you look at, you know, coming down the stretch, the, the turnovers that we had, you know. Um, two, you know, we was kind of scrambling to kind of get the ball and throws it uphill back across the court. We turn it over. Um, school is, you know, trying to go behind the back on a tough play, and we turn it over, you know. Um, there were a couple more uh, than that, too, but in a normal situation, they wouldn't be in that position, you know. So they get opportunity more than anything uh, with, the, with the vets being out. But this is awesome because that's how you learn, you know. Um, that's how you learn, and I'm sure – when given that opportunity again, they'll be thinking about that and they'll try to be better down the stretch. Um, I thought, you know, that was the only thing about the, some of our fourth quarter minutes where I thought we we played them like it was the first quarter. And the fourth quarter is always a totally different game. But they don't know that, you know. Um, they're just learning that. You mentioned those young guys, um, and like a lot of them got minutes tonight. What's it kind of been, or I guess like how beneficial has it been to them into their organization, having the G League here in Portland, like having the team actually here this season? Yeah, it's been awesome. You know, the remix thing has been awesome. Um, you know, I have I've I was a huge, huge component of it. Uh, it's one of the things that I started fighting for day one then since I got here. So to have it and to see the actual benefits of it, you know, Chris Murray playing so many minutes there and Ryan playing so many minutes there early in the season and even a guy like Ashton, you know, who has been on our team there and comes here and makes some huge plays, man, you know. So it's been a great, great benefit to us to have the remix and to have it, you know, so close right here local. Chelsea, how do you feel like the, the young guys did adjusting throughout the game without you having to adjust for them? Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, what I wanted to do in a game like today is just give them, like, Two sets to play out of. Don't don't think about nothing else. You know, just two simple sets. Everything's live out of them, um, and just just hoop. You know, um, and I'll slow it down whenever I feel it's necessary, or win a timeout. Or I thought they did a really good job adjusting to it. You know, um, the game could have got away from us a couple times. They didn't let it happen. Um, they just kept fighting, kept scrapping. You know, whoever we put out there. So I was very proud of them uh, for how they adjusted. During, throughout the game. There were a few times there uh, going into timeouts that you pulled Chris aside and kind of just chatted with him. I was just curious kind of just like what that entailed and kind of just how he responded to it, like on the court, what you were telling him. Just It was just a couple um, instances, a couple plays and sets that, uh, or either it was a couple of them actually with defensively us just not communicating or um, just showing him what to look for on a certain play and Chris always responds you know he always whatever you tell him he just looks for it you know um, and he doesn't forget you know so just just coaching just just I'm, I do that with pretty much everybody to be honest with you because sometimes I want to get them there because when I get to the huddle um, 
you know, it's more about the team and what we want to run or what we need to do better, you know. So I, I, I coach that way quite a bit.